My name is Alicia Williams, and I'm an integrative cardiologist in the East Lansing, Michigan area. And I've been doing cardiology for over 26 years, and I've always been interested in nutrition, but I wanted to further uh, get into integrative uh, prevention reversal, and I've always been doing a lot of functional medicine, but with my uh, regular practice, it was becoming more difficult to do all the things that I wanted to do and spend the time doing it. And so I wanted to try to get into an area that I'm going to be talking about at the conference. And that's an area that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, I have a lot of patients that have preclinical vascular disease and they don't know it. They either have risk that they don't know about or they have the beginning of blood vessel disease that they don't know about. So I wanna talk about a group of patients, not that uh, people come in with symptoms or an event, but how do we detect preclinical disease? And then how can we offer people a way to track how they're doing? I mean, do we always have to use radiation and do we always have to do expensive tests? And fortunately, there's some newer technology that allows us to track the people, identify them, and then offer them a way to know if they're on the right track going forward to help prevent and reverse vascular disease. And this is nice because it's also portable um, and, it's, and it's very doable for any practice. It gives us a lot of really good information. So it's gonna be uh, CIMT, which is carotid intimal medial thickness, and that's an ultrasound technique. And then using that along with advanced blood testing, uh, mainly to screen, not so much to manage a complex person, but you could do the same thing with a person that already has disease. Uh, but really trying to go out and say, how do I know if my heart's okay? And what I don't know could be an issue. And then how do I know what to do and identify risk factors and prevent and reverse them? and if I'm on the right track. So those are the big questions I'm gonna to try to dive into. I think some misconceptions are that, you know, when we do cardiac testing that we're really telling people they're okay and they're not okay. And I think we know that no test is perfect, but when we're really trying to detect, and especially before a symptom, you're not gonna get the test covered, so then it becomes an issue of cost. But also, even if somebody cash pays and does a test, are we really giving them information that's gonna tell them their heart's okay? And sometimes we miss some pretty significant problems because they're just not at the level of detection of our current testing. I think the surprising thing, I mean, after 26 years in uh, practicing cardiology and several years before that, looking at ultrasounds and doing things, I was really amazed at the CIMT technology. It wasn't available readily for years other than research, and now we have a way with the software right in a, a piece of equipment not much bigger than a laptop where we can get beautiful images of the arteries, and we're really imaging from the jaw down, the, the common carotid, and we can measure things that are millimeters in size very reproducibly. So that's what was amazing to me, and I think it really got missed by the mainstream uh, cardiologists, not so much because they're not interested in technology, but I think that when they see the beginning of thickness, they really don't know what to do with that. They just, I think, are waiting to do something when something gets tightly blocked, and that's got its place. But I think that we're very much in line with trying to prevent and reverse, and we wanna do things way ahead of time. I think the important thing is it can be overwhelming to look at what do I do? I have someone sitting in front of me. So obviously integrative cardiology is a complex field along with many other things. I wanna to try to come up with some easy, doable clinical situations where anybody could you know, really make a difference. And also how can we kind of wake people up on what's going on with their body and make it something that you take to the people so that you can get as many people as possible aware that it doesn't have to be scary or difficult to make an impact on our long-term health.